the sun, by the moon, he's a star And baby, I'm lighting up Like a fool, it's true, it's true He's making me blow my mind and I Can't stand the thought of being without us I'm being honest, y'all I'm being honest We just do what we do Ain't no joke about love He's the one that I die for Can't long side by side Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm mostly gonna be doing laundry and cleaning up my kitchen. And the way I like to do laundry is there's six of us. And so as I wash the clothes, I sort them. And then at the end of the day is usually when I fold them and then have my kids put theirs away and I put mine and my husband's away. But that's been the easiest thing for me is right after my clothes get out of the dryer, I sort them. So I'll have six different piles. And then when everything's washed, we put everything away. And you notice I'm rolling a lot of these clothes. My girls have a lot of clothes and so this is how their clothes fit inside the drawers is by rolling them and I like that you can see everything at once when you open your drawer. These are my husband's shirts. I'm just putting the hangers on the shirts and I'll go hang them up. And these are my clothes, but I'm not going to talk very much right here. It's very self-explanatory what I'm doing. Hopefully this offers you some motivation and um, let me know if you're doing laundry at the same time in the comments below.
here is the kitchen. You can see it is a mess. It actually looks worse in person than it does in this video. And, um, but I just turned my music on and started working away. It didn't take too long to clean everything up. Right here I'm going through and I'm picking up all the garbage off the countertop. And emptying the cans. We have these two cans that you see right here. And then also another one at the end of the bar here. And now I'm loading the dishwasher with all the dirty dishes. And after that, I will wipe the countertop off and vacuum and mop the floor. Everything's pretty self-explanatory, so I'll let you just listen to the music and watch me work. Again, let me know in the comments below if you're also working on cleaning your house, doing laundry, cleaning your kitchen, or if you're just watching this um, for motivation, let me know in the comments below. absolutely love this vacuum it's the cordless Dyson V8 plus animal I purchased it at Costco but I have a link for a very similar one the only difference is the color in my Amazon store and also in the description of this video so check out that link if you're interested in buying this vacuum it is my favorite vacuum I've ever bought. It's so convenient, very lightweight, and it's just amazing. What if the wind could spread your love? And for tile floors, this is my absolute favorite mop. In our other house, we had tile floors for about 11 years, 10, 11 years, and this is the kind of mop I used. And then we got wood floors. We just moved into this home six months ago and it has tile and so I'm back to this kind of mop. 
Once we change the floors to wood, there's a different kind of mop I like for wood floors, but for tile, this is amazing. Nothing I have used has worked better. It's a commercial type mop and I purchased it at Lowe's. while I'm folding my laundry. I'm almost done, this is all I have left. Um, but I wanted to ask you guys a few questions. Do you guys have, do you have kids at home doing school? If you do, let me know how that's going. I have four at home. Their school is all online, just for the next couple of weeks and then, um, some of the school is going back under certain guidelines. Some is continuing online. I actually chose to continue doing online from home just for the second quarter. And mainly because I really like that I can, I'm more aware of what they're learning and, and I can help better. But like I said, I really like that I'm here to help them. And if they are having trouble with something, I know right away and, and it, it seems like it's easier for me to help when I know, because they'll come home from school in the past and they won't tell me if there was something that was difficult or they didn't understand. And now while they're at home, they'll tell me like right when it's happening. Anyway, so that's a plus that I love that I'm here and I'm aware of what they're learning and if they need help and how they need help. The negative about having them all home is they're all home asking me things, needing my help, and I'm trying to maintain my business at home, which by the way is I love my YouTube business, and I'm trying to maintain my house, you know, cooking our dinners um, and cleaning and doing laundry and so it's just a so it's so much to juggle and I know I'm not the only one out there I'm not the only mom or dad or grandma or grandpa that's dealing with this aunts um, uncles I know um, there's lots of people that would love to be able to help their kids at home and you know they're they have to work outside of the home so I don't want to sound like I'm complaining. I feel very blessed that I can be home with my kids and help them with their school. But um, it comes with its own frustrations for sure. The thing that I've noticed that helps me though is if I feel very overwhelmed, I, I write down like the five main things that I hope to get done that day and I try to be realistic. Um, and then I check them off as I do them, but for some reason just, if you feel like your whole house is a mess and you have all of this stuff to do and there's not enough time, sometimes it feels so overwhelming that you don't even want to try. But if you, like I've got these daily planners that help me a ton. 
and so I prioritize what I hope to get done and what I think is realistic and I just go for it and sometimes I only get one thing done on that list sometimes I get all of it but I think the most important thing is to write stuff down and um, check it off when you've finished it. We all have different strengths, weaknesses. We have things that bother us, things that don't bother us at all. Um, one of my, I guess, weaknesses is I set my goals way too high. That, that doesn't seem like it would be a bad thing, but it sets me up for failure. So, for example, um, I might the night before write out, okay, I've got to clean the whole house, not just a couple of rooms, like the whole house, and do three YouTube videos, record them, upload them, help all the kids in their homework, and um, make sure I get my exercising in, and of course make um, dinner, and it's got to be healthy, but it has to be somewhat quick. You know, and what I started doing lately is I kind of know approximately how much time each thing takes me. And when I did that, I realized how high I was making my goals. Like, it wasn't even possible for any human being to get these things done in a day, let alone the time frame that I had um, picked out for myself. And so once I realized that, I make smaller goals because it's not just YouTube I'm doing. It's not just helping my kids with their school. It's not just making dinner or doing laundry. It's all of it. So once I realized my goals were way too high, um, I tried to be more realistic. And, you know, I'm talking about everything I have to do as a mom and um, with my business. And so once I was more realistic and wrote this stuff down, wrote my goals, looked at, at it the night before, looked at the goals again in the morning, I became way more consistent and successful and I noticed I felt happier. I felt happier because I was setting goals that I could actually accomplish and I was accomplishing them. And so... That's like the biggest thing that I've learned in the last six months that's helped me so much. Um, and also a thing that sticks out in my mind with in terms of staying organized and on top of things and happy and um, productive is simplifying. Not trying to do things perfectly and the best every time you do stuff. Here's an example. Of course we want to do our best, right, with everything we do. But, for example, tonight I'm making spaghetti for my kids. I love, I just recently started making homemade bread. I have made homemade white bread and homemade French bread. So, today my schedule is packed. You know, I have so much, just like all of you, that I have to do. Would it be smart on a day that seems extra crazy to put the pressure on me to make homemade white bread or French bread for spaghetti? Or would it be better to use bread that we already have that might not be as good, you know, it's not as healthy or taste as good, but it would work, you know? Is it better to do that or to try to push in making homemade bread um, today? So, of course, I'm not going to make it today, and so the thing that I've realized that works for me, for my schedule, is if making homemade treats or breads is important to me, um, I have a certain day of the week. For me, it's Saturday or Sunday. Saturday or Sunday are the days that if I feel like I want to make something homemade, it's the day when they're not in school, we're home, um, I've made our schedules as such that we're not really doing housework on Saturday. Sometimes we do a little with school. Um, that's another topic. But we're home, we're relaxed, there's nowhere we have to be. And so that's a day that is really good for me to make homemade stuff. Because it takes a little time, you know, to get the stuff out, to bake, to clean up. And, and so that's worked. So that's 
um, a way that I've simplified lately. But another way I simplify and I try to stay organized is, for example, with laundry. I used to do laundry every single day. And if you do laundry every single day and it works for you, that's great. For me, it didn't work every day. And I'll tell you why. The reason why it didn't work every day is my kids knew that I did laundry every day. And so when I told them to bring me their laundry, um, they didn't bring it all. They, the first habit they had is sometimes their laundry was on their floor, in the bedroom, sometimes in the bathroom, sometimes in the basket. And so they knew I did laundry every day and sometimes I would go in and get it. Sometimes I would have them bring it to me. And so, you know, just about every day I would have one of the four kids say, I can't find this shirt or this shirt is dirty. Can you wash it for me or pants or socks or whatever it is? And I would tell them, I just did your laundry. How come you didn't give it to me? You know, I just did your laundry. Why was it not in the dirty clothes basket? And so they had their excuse why it wasn't. So now they know for them, there's two days a week that I do their laundry. And then the other day of the week, I do blankets and towels and anything else that I need to do. But now they know that if their laundry isn't in their basket and they don't bring it to me to clean, it won't get clean till the next laundry day. And that has helped me so much. That's helped our laundry um, all make it up to the laundry room and it's made, hi, um, right there. That's made them make sure that when they are done with their clothes, they put their clothes in their laundry basket. When it's laundry day, I remind them the night before, put your laundry baskets outside the laundry room for me. And then I remind them on the day of laundry day. So it took a little bit of training them, but now they know. And I don't have to go in and pick up their clothes off their floor and find what floor they put their clothes in. Um, they just know it's laundry day. If I don't give mom my laundry, it's not going to get done. So that's a way I've simplified things with laundry. As parents can feel overwhelmed all the time, especially if you're home with your kids and you're now helping them with their school, like all day. Um, I just, I'm trying to share some things that have helped me and it's to simplify, to be organized, not to set too high of goals. And, um, I would love to hear what's worked for you guys because I'm still in that process of trying to figure things out. It's been challenging, but there's been more positive with having them home than negative. So I hope that all made sense. That was way more than what I planned on talking about, but it's real life stuff. And I just wanted to know how you guys are dealing with having your kids home, how you stay organized at home. Um, I love comments. Please leave me comments and I'll get right back to you. I check my comments every day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Share this video with a friend. Hit the notification bell and leave me a comment. Thanks guys. Bye bye.